I kind of want a Dawn and Dusk. Yeah, let's, let's do it. <laughs> so the droplet got plus three, plus three. Now the next thing's gonna have like plus five, plus five. And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Go Get It Hearth card to kick off Meme Tier Monday. We got four viewer submitted Meme Tier decks for today. This one's unique where it has no champions. This is going to be a deck that is built around recalling your own allies and buffing up the allies in your deck. We're going to be using Averroes and Hearthguard to hopefully continually recall Hearthguard, replay it, and so on, and just grant the allies in our deck plus one, plus one a bunch, get some really buffed allies, play them, attack, win the game. That's kind of the, the short of it. Um, also, we're going to be drawing tons of cards because we have Shadow Assassin, that each time it's summoned, draw a card, droplet, whenever we recall, draw a card. So if we're using a lot of recalls, those things will be able to draw extra cards for us. Also, Babbling Bjerg at the four mana slot, drawing our five plus power units. So therefore, Babbling Bjerg can go find Hearthguard um, to, you know, for us to get our start going. It's The deck's called Go Get Hearthguard because of this spell right here. Recall an ally to summon an exact ephemeral copy, and then you reduce the one that you recalled to zero. So if we play Hearthguard and then go get it the Hearthguard, we not only get the ephemeral copy that grants all allies in our deck plus one plus one again, and then we'll then we'll have this zero cost copy as well. So we'll have those. All right. So for the top end to help us finish out games, we're gonna have Dawn and Dusk. They can make two exact copies of um, either Hearthguard if we want or more likely just whatever we get that's buffed up really big. You know, hopefully we do all this buffing and then we get like a Shadow Assassin or a Droplet or some um, like Elusive that's super buffed and we can Dawn and Dusk those. Um, but then we also have uh, three copies of Scatterpod. The Scatterpod can go help us find the go get -its. Uh, If we choose Fast Speed, we, we basically we have three options, right? Slow, Fast, or Burst. If we choose Slow, then we get um, the Dawn and Dusk. All right, so if we want to go find Dawn and Dusk, we can do that. If we choose fast, we know we're going to get a recall card. We're going to either get go get it or retreat or recall. So, so you know, we can kind of plan on, okay, fast means recall, slow means Dawn and Dusk. And then burst means frostbite. You know, we'll have three flash freeze and that's it. So we have the three flash freeze for burst. So, you know, we got those kind of options. And then we're, we're going to have two Mina Swiftfoots at the top end that's going to really help uh, finish the game. So we're spending our time recalling our allies, buffing our stuff up. Then like, how do we finish the game? Either big elusive or just Mina Swiftfoot. You know, we can play this, recall three enemies. We can, uh, you know, go get it, put it back in our hand, make the copy cost zero, um, you know, play zero mana Swiftfoot, right? And just clear out the board, you know, or we can Monastery, we can keep on like Swiftfoot every single round. They, they won't have the ability to uh, continually play three things. You know, we can do that too. All right, so let's get let's get to it. Let's see how it does. Go get it, Hearthguard. We're playing over in normal, of course, because this is definitely a meme tier deck. No champions, just all recall and buffs. All right, so we have a Tristana deck. So it should be could be a Bandle Tree deck. You know, definitely going to be a multi-region allies deck. All right, good looking hand. I think we'll keep the we'll keep the Flash Freeze. Um, I wonder. I'm not sure what they have Ionia for. Love the round one Omen Hawk. Gotta love that. Bigger Scatter Pod. Scatter Pod also can gain elusive. Wow, they didn't attack? That's a surprise. The order rewards its faithful. So our deck plays like no removal whatsoever. That's that's why this is like a perfect meme tier deck, right? Because we're just kind of like chilling, doing our own thing. So if our opponent does play, they do play the landmark, the Bandle Tree landmark. I could definitely see us losing to the Bandle Tree landmark. You cannot escape. It's too late. Oh no! Do I want to just do this and retreat your turn? I guess. Hmm. 
We got denied. Good flash freeze. That, but no, I'll just wait. I'm gonna save spell mana. I was not expecting that deny, that's for sure. Rockfall path, obliterate the weakest enemy. So Swiftfoot recalls three enemies. Does not recall landmarks. Go get it, hearth guard. Yeah. We got our go get it hearth guard deck online. Bandle Gunners. So 7-7 seven, seven, impact four. Let's go and play just this thing just to block this round. <laughs> Dancing Droplet is a 4-4. So I could Dawn Dust the Dancing Droplet, and we have 12 power Elusive. Ooh. Glad I played those first. I kind of wanted Dawn and Dusk. Yeah, let's, let's do it. <laughs> so the droplet got plus three plus three. Now the next thing's gonna have like plus five plus five. Um, attack with you also. So obviously they'll have the seven six block block this hearth guard, but I need to clear up room anyway. So yeah, that's fine. <laughs> oh no. All right. Spirit These old eyes still see far and clear. Those both have impact eight? I didn't realize that. Wow, then they get to do it again. That's really cool. Alright, so our opponent out. Go get it. Us. I wonder what those, those stack, the impact eight. So they had go get it vandal gunners. Yeah, they could have recalled an 8 and made it 12. Yep, we can chalk that one up to another... This game always pairs you with mirror matches if they can. We play against the the only one other person playing Go Get It. Alright, let's mulligan these two. Yeah, so impact keyword means that whenever it strikes while doing damage, it does that much damage to your nexus. I said, well, whenever it strikes while attacking. I think I said, well, damage, but whenever it strikes while attacking. So therefore, even if it, even if we block it and they strike our blocker, it does, you know, with impact eight, it does eight damage to our nexus. Well, no, make it rain is good. Ready? Aim. 
I know, right? Dancing Droplet needs a tune back. So now we got some blockers. The War Mother will unite us all. Can't really block elusive though. And of course you can't stop the crack shot Corsair from killing us. Our deck has no removal. <laughs> so they they play like I said Juani, we lose. Uh I mean I guess we have the Mina Swiffo. We can wait till round nine for that. Stand I'm glad they got rid of the monkey and letting me attack. I didn't have a very good attack when they still had the monkey in play. This is yeah, Gangplank Sejuani is definitely one of the best decks still. Like it, this deck's awesome. I'm not expecting our meme tier deck to beat Gangplank Sejuani ever. Especially not when they're high rolling like that. Carved from the savage cold. Unfortunately, if I go get it, the Hearth Guard, like, it'll still be zero power vulnerable, like, because it's an exact copy. But I guess, at least that is the ephemeral. So if they want to challenge it, it's the ephemeral that's zero five. In range. Let's do this. Yeah. We fight for one frail yard. I for some reason was thinking that. You know, that's obviously not burst speed. I was thinking I was going to be able to play the other hearth guard also with that. I was incorrect. Alright, Conley Tavern Keeper? No, but that's a big scatter pod. So that's kind of cool. It still means that we lose. Um, we still lose to the Scratch Shot Corsair. Or, you know, Warring Shot. Gotta go with the flow. Show them our teeth. GG's. Fight for your lives. Just a deck that's just on a much different plane than ours. You know, it's meme tier day. We are playing this no champion, no removal deck. We're not beating the best decks in the format. That's just not going to happen. So we just got to hope we're not playing against Gangplank Sejuani's and stuff. We we do have a ch chance here against Darkness Control. Depends if they play if they have like Vagar, especially Vagar in round four. We don't have a chance. But if they don't have Vagar, we have a chance because we we could have a lot of card draw. Right, we can have a lot of card draws. So we can we can handle a whole bunch of darkness that kills our stuff. But we can't handle Vagar just doing twenty to my Nexus. That was the correct play by them. Shadow. Can see the 
Lucian border from here. Alert the village! <laughs> Bring me your darkness, my Zep comrade! All right, there's a hearth card. For the wicked, for the dead, I bring rest. Ready to fire. Keep your distance. Would have the darkness now start doing three damage. Turn it against them. Yeah, we take an eleven damage too. Welcome to the tipsy hour. I just have to do this. They didn't. The reason why they played the darkness before blocks is because, because then since they used the darkness, then they created a new one. And take another flash freeze. Go get at the hearth guard. Best we'll go get it. That will I'll go grab a fast spell. So I'm going to swift foot. Three of these. If they have obviously if they have ruination, you know, that's just <laughs> that's just a nightmare. But if they don't. Absorb soul. A random card to have. Damage stone. All right, we're putting up a fight. We are putting up a fight. Just please don't have Vagar. Oh, 
Oh, they have Vagar. That's too bad. What will you have? Ancient things trapped in the ice. Nothing a little steel can do. Attack! That's not a good sign. They not only had one Vagar, but they had three Vagars? Wow. So this puts them down to five. Yeah, I mean, I can't really do anything about that. I don't think. No, I don't think I can do anything about that. Might as well play the scattered pod they know about. Um, so I can go get at the Swift Foot and play Zero Mana Swift Foot to bounce Vagar. It won't create a darkness at the beginning of the round, but they're already going to create a darkness at the beginning of the round, but it won't increase the damage at round start. Yeah, let's go and do that. And then they're going to have to spend four mana again to play Vagar again. You'll want to give me some space. Promise. Makes life tough on their mana. And, you know, I, I can't have this thing continually gain huh. damage. I think we may actually win this. Swift foot. Getting it done. We are go get it swift foot this game. See, there we go. That's the goal of our deck. We got it done. Twist of face swing. Alright, hopefully our card advantage. Can take over again. Let's get rid of this. And get rid of that. We'll keep retreat return to go along with the droplet. Yep, you never give up, never surrender. Because you never know. Something something good can happen. Now they play the 2-2? Two -two. No? Okay, cool. They just pass. See that maybe they would play the 2-2 two -two that makes the powder keg after I attack. draw lots and lots of cards. But that takes up a lot of mana to do that. And we probably need to continually play to the board. These old eyes still see far and clear. Yeah, we probably gotta keep playing to the board. Born a patrician, I became a soldier. Many tribes under one banner. Ready 
the torches. I don't know. I'm thinking about blocking. We have so much card advantage already. Like, our whole deck is card advantage. I'm thinking about just blocking. I know. We need the attune mana, don't we? We're really missing that attune mana. I'm expecting Ravenous Flock. Yeah. And then I recall. Oh, I meant. To oh wait, yeah, that one's fleeting. Okay, never mind. Okay, Woo. all right, we good, we good. I can't use the fleeting. The, uh, sorry, not fleeting, but uh, focus. Can't use the focus speed. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and replay our hearth guard. The war mother will unite us all. <clears throat> Rude. Right. I'll get them to 11. I will break them. Let's get a burst spell. Let's go grab Flash Freeze. Two damage, make it rain. It's a good thing if I want to sanctuary the Omen Hawk first or not. It's like this attack, like obviously they just throw the deck hand in front. It's not like a great attack. Please don't have Leviathan. Oh, why do they always have to have Leviathan? Oh, actually, I couldn't play that, could I? I need that one extra mana, because I need a Flash Freeze and Swift Foot this round. Wait, I, could, I couldn't replay, though. I'm an awesome. I couldn't replay that Omen Hawk. I need this extra mana. But even then, they they can just replay Leviathan. Yep. Ugh. Liked our chances against everything except for Leviathan, but Leviathan. You see our, our problems with our deck. I don't with Freljord and Ionia. I don't know if there really are any good um, any good options for for like removal. There just isn't really. All right, so Lissandra Talia, Lissandra Talia, you know, does put out eight eights, but this is the bad thing. But the good thing is, it's not like super super fast or consistent. So like, we gotta hope that they're pretty slow and that we're gonna be able to have Mina Swiftfoot. Because if we can have Mina Swiftfoot bounce the eight eights, then we're golden, right? So like, we just have to hope, hope that they have a really slow hand that's like all removal. Okay, or... Oh. We get Dawn and Dusk Omen Hawks. <laughs> Alright, so love no round one landmark. That's great. All right, the longer it takes them to play a landmark, the, the better for us. He 
You can have all the avalanches you want. Awesome. We'll get 7-7 seven, seven hearth guard. We can dawn and dust that thing. Like, these things are almost big enough to just take down thralls by themselves. Alright, not really anything to do here. Could retreat return, but... Alright, we gotta do it. Alright, good draw. That's good against 8-8s. Eight so nothing to do this round. This was a great round for them. Promising Future and the 2-2. And me doing nothing. All right, so it looks like we should probably just be playing some Homecomings. The Monastery didn't really seem necessary, so I could see Monastery turning into Homecoming. If we're looking for things to turn into Homecoming. If I Dawn and Dust, they can Flash Freeze. The War Mother will unite us all. Today we fight as one. Hmm. That's actually just not good. We don't we don't want to make their board less. I could attack with like my one ones, but you know like we don't want to lessen their board. I will remind the world of true power. Right, we want these things getting in the way, these two twos and stuff getting in the way. So we're going to need to go grab another Flash Freeze. If only we could Dawn and Dusk, Bjerg, or no, sorry, Tyrant Keeper and heal our Nexus, you know, if only that was like a summon, summon three, heal your Nexus. No Swift Foot in, in sight. Really need Swift Foot. Wow. Just attacking there, huh? I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, not Swift Foot. Scatterpod's elusive now. That thing's elusive. Alright, got our last flash freeze. Hmm. 
Came down to two. They're gonna have like their own flash freeze type cards, right? Like they're like, I know I could play the Shadow Assassin and attempt lethal, but they're gonna be like, they're gonna be able to stop this. Oh, it looks like that. That's another ice shard. Looks like two ice shards here. Only we had right negation. Freeze. They're wanting to clear up room. <laughs> oh, certainly. Okay. Six. Ooh. I know the 5-5 five five was better than the 3-3, three three, but I played this because my opponent knew about it. I live and die for you alone, my lady. Welcome to the tipsy hour. It is time for you to prove yourself, my warrior. I dare not serve any other, my lady. Okay. Alright, we got our two big elusives again. Let's get third elusive. We have three cards we don't know about. Fourteen damage, puts him down to three. Oh, this is only a three-three? If neither of those are flash freezes, I can win right now. But what's the chance that neither are a flash freeze? You know, I guess this is the card they just drew this round. But I could go for the go get it win. I guess there's not really any harm in doing that. Yeah, there's no harm in doing this. So we're going to cover up the monastery. I have no more slow or burst speed spells in the deck, so let's say fast. Okay, so now... Sorry, okay. Awesome, we got there. I was thinking about whether or not to play the droplet, and I was going to say no, not play the droplet. And I was going to just attack like that. I'm sorry, it's under my eye. Hey, look at that. We got a 2-3 and three record with our Go Get It Hearthguard deck. Just buffing up some stuff. Not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, but yeah, I think moving forward, even though we did get some good Tavern Keepers in there, I think we do want the uh, Homecomings. I think that's something that the deck definitely wants. And, yeah, we need these homecomings. So if we play homecoming, we could get rid of at least one monastery. Maybe both monasteries. The monastery is, is a really good card to go along with Droplet. But maybe just having Recall, Retreat, that could be enough for the Droplet. So I could see going... Uh, let's see. So we get rid of the other, get rid of both monasteries, and I think we'll probably go down to two. Maybe just go down to two droplets. I think without, you know, with these things not having the attune anymore, 
they're not as good. If we if we take out the monastery droplet's not going to be as good. We still have like you know other things that draw. We have lots of other things to draw cards. So there we go. Get some homecomings in for a little bit extra interaction. All right, so that's a, a good plan right there. That'll you know put those leviathans back in their hand, right? You know like that kind of stuff. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of Go Get It Hearthguard. Hopefully y'all enjoyed watching this meme tier deck. We got three more cool ones to get to, but no champions. And we still got a couple of wins. Not bad at all. All right, but that's it for this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next one.